Ladies and gentlemen, I am Hockey Johnson, your SCA guest commentary, commentator, I'm sorry, once again for some SCA action here on SCA Rebellion, episode 25. Great, great opportunity for me to be here from Anime Championship Wrestling to commentate, once again for Sports Entertainment Alternative, and there is one angry Rio Kazama, and I'll tell you something right here, right now. She cannot be happy whatsoever at all after what happened to Sakura after what Ryomu did to her last week. And you can just tell by the look of her face, she is absolutely disgusted, just completely appalled of what the actions of Ryomu was in terms of what she did, not just to Mo, not just to Misawa Toyota, but to Sakura as well. Now I'm sure Ryo is going to have a lot to say here. Thank you ladies and gentlemen for joining us for episode 25 of SCA Rebellion. Wherever you may be joining us today in over 100 countries, thank you for joining us. And make sure you follow the SCA Facebook page and subscribe to the SCA YouTube channel. Crowd on their feet here for Rio tonight. I don't think Rio is right now focused on the crowd, not focused on their adulation. They are, she is simply focused on getting some damn answers. We have, Rio's got the microphone here and let's listen to what she has to say here. Whoa, wait a minute. That's Ryomo and we are going at it one-on-one. -on -one. Here we go. And we all knew there was going to be some retribution. We all knew there was going to be some fight between these two ladies here tonight. And both ladies here on a stalemate here as the crowd are anticipating something going down here. Nobody should be surprised at all. And look at that. Both ladies going at it again. Rio, Ryomo going at it. One on one here. Rio trying to defend herself after what happened to her superior to her to her colleagues. Ryoma trying to use Rio as a message to send towards everybody here in SCA. What a brawl here going on here. The crowd here doesn't know what to make of it. I I, I would think Rio would have to be careful here. Look at this. We got wrestlers out here trying to separate the two and Rio still going after and this, this brawl is just continuing to go out of here. My goodness. What a way to kick off SCA here tonight. The two ladies with such disdain towards each other. Meanwhile, backstage. I've always wanted to say that.
Wow. Tina Armstrong and Mila talking to each other as Tina Armstrong will be in action later on tonight against Kaiserman. Let's get to our opening contest here tonight, and this is going to be some very interesting contest here. As Salvatore, the Magnificent, is set to be in action against Chocho Caras. Wow, what a brawl that we had before the before this opening contest here, before that uh, situation with Tina and Mila. As Ryoko Zama and Ryomao just brought all around this entire set of the ring here. Just brought all over this arena here to start things off here on Rebellion. Having members of the SCA uh, roster come out and separate the two. And I'm sure they're probably still brawling somewhere um, backstage. I have no idea. We'll try to get some updates as the night goes on here tonight. Salvador is ready for some action now. If you recall at the last Rebellion... Uh, Fianna challenged Salvatore to a match that would be deemed as the last match between the two. And Salvatore has not accepted the challenge yet. Now I do not know why she hasn't yet. I couldn't really tell you why she hasn't accepted the challenge. But it has to be for a good reason. I mean, I'm sure Salvatore wants to get her hands on Fianna, especially after the way Fianna has uh, showed herself, has, especially as Fianna has shown her true intentions from the last CPD at FDA and how that has affected everybody here with Lightning Stone being champion. We'll find out if we can get an answer from that in the near future, but there's Salvador's opponent here, Mass Lady, Ocho Caras. Rod Hop here as the opening contest will begin here between Chocho and Salvador. And here we go, nice dropkick from Caras. Remember, Chocho Kata, she just came back from the VWQ Fight Spirit Tournament just a few short weeks ago. And, oh, a nice butterfly suplex sending Salvador to the other side of the ring. But I think we're going to note here with Chocho, I mean, she, I don't think she's also aware. Wait a minute, Salvador with a nice counter, that Bulldog. Look at that, another wheelchair, Bulldog. Salvador with the House in Fuego. Caras here, no Salvador's got the wrist, wrist lock, Chocho, hammer lock pushing her aside here, looks like both ladies are just going back and forth here, as Salvador with a nice side headlock here, waist lock from behind by Chocho, snap mare by Salvador, going face lock, and a, oh a nice judo hip toss, over judo arm toss actually, and a nice back suplex, as I was trying to say just a few seconds ago, uh, Chocho's not aware that the lights of the Jukin Club are targeting each leaving. One, two, kick out. You recall the Jukin Club are making it their 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 message, their crusade that the fact that you know shoot fighting, the, what they call shoot fighting, is the superior style in wrestling today. And wait a minute, another roll of my Chocho here. One, two, kick out. And I don't think Chocho is aware of that now that the Jukin Club Club has set their sights on Lucha Libre. And like I stated the last time that this issue was brought up, I, I don't see why one style has to be the dominant force in wrestling. There, there's a reason why it's wrestling. All different styles from all different places and all different origins. Why would you want to take that away? Here's the cover. One, two, and someone with the shoulder up at two there. That, that makes no sense to me there. I mean, I mean, people like shoot wrestling, that's fine, but some people like Lucha Libre, some like Puro style wrestling, some like mainstream wrestling, some like grappling, it, it just, it is what it is. Elbow takes down Chocho there. So Kata needs to be careful with the Jupiter Club's intentions when she crosses past them. And look at that Salvatore burying that knee onto the back of Chocho but lets go that modified circle stretch. Oh, Chocho, sidekick, square in the face. Here's the cover. One, shoulder up by Salvador. Very interesting contest here. As stated, Chocho Caras implements the Lucha Libre style fairly well, but Salvador is more of that kind of powerhouse of, of, of a wrestler. 
Whoa, that was a nice one right there. Now Salvatore. Nice Chocho down here. Look at this. This camel clutch about to make Chocho humble here. Not so fast. Chocho able to get out of it, but Salvatore still in control here. Up top, Salvador. Chocho drop kicks Salvador. And a seated position on top of the turnbuckle. Chocho falls pursuit. And yes, I'm about to do it. The most overused wrestling move in history. The suplex from the top turnbuckle. It really is, too. Chocho on top! Oh! Double foot footstop on the Salvador with air. One, two, and a shoulder up from Salvador. Very impressive. The Lucha Libre wrestler, the Chocho. Salvador on the apron here. Forearm right to the face. On the top rope. Oh my goodness, Hurricanrana sticking her landing. But I think Salvador caught some dizziness there and not capitalized quickly enough. Salvador doesn't even know where she is right now. Chocho takes advantage of it, luckily for her. Waist off from behind here. Chocho has a leg here. And knee smash right to the knee there for Salvador. And look at that, Chocho working on it. Now going after the knee there with that half leg crab. Salvador is in the middle of the ring here. She's going to have to really crawl a long distance to the ropes or at least power out of it. Because Chocho doesn't look to be breaking away from that submission anytime soon. You see the way her, her hips are sunk down to the lower body of Salvador. Just adding more pressure there. And finally Salvador gets the ropes. But that has the damage been done here. Missed the clothesline. Oh! Spinning heel kick! Down goes Salvador! Caught us now. Look, look at that! Great athleticism from Chocho there. Now, and I would have thought Chocho would have gone for the cover there, but apparently not. Probably wasting a little bit much time on Salvador. Try to put her away quickly. Chocho not taking advantage. And Salvador! Floating neck breaker. That's what I was talking about. Did not capitalize on the situation when it was right there. Salvador, wheelbarrow, bulldog once again. I believe the third one in this match. Let's see here. Irish by Salvador. Chocho off the ropes here. Both women bump into each other here. And Chocho counters with a nice tilt to backbreaker. Chocho's up top again. Oh my god! It's an impressive one, two, and a, oh, and Salvador with a two. I don't even know what to call that move, but that was impressive as all hell. Still in this match here, drop kick sends down Chocho. Salvador has to come back here strong here. Salvador's up top. 450! Oh no no, that was one for Houston Hangover cover. One, two, it's over. Salvador able to get the win out of the Houston Hangover 450. What an impressive match between these two ladies here. As you take a look at the highlights to end this match here, Salvador went down with that super clutch on the top turnbuckle. Then look at what Salvador did here. Look at this 450 Houston hangover. Boom! Right towards the neck, right towards the esophagus. And then that was all she wrote to get the three count here. So Salvador is victorious here tonight against Chocho. A great way, a great opening contest to start off SEA Rebellion. But you gotta wonder with Salvador. That challenge by Fiana is coming up fairly shortly, and she's going to have to give an answer sooner rather than later. But what will that answer be? What type of answer will she be giving Fiana? Will we get that final match between the two in the near future? Well, well, speak of the devil, there's Fiana right there. What is going to be her answer? Meanwhile, backstage.
Well, there you have it, folks. At Revelation 5, it is three years in the making. It's going to be Sergeant Clemens who went one on one against Lightning in a free fall Hell in a Cell match. Wow. Three years in the making, folks. And Clemens has guaranteed that she is going to end Lightning's career. Lightning states that she is going to finish what she started three years ago with Clemens. Do not want to miss the Revelation 5 for that match alone. Wow. You gotta wonder though, what's Lightning implied on the end there. But I, I, I have no idea. You never know with Lightning. Well, my good friend Joseph would have been marking out for us with that line, but I have my doubts. I'm getting something from my headset right now. Okay. Wow, alright. Okay. Okay, so, so for the main event tonight, coming from what happened earlier to start the show, Ryo Kazama will go on one against Ryo Maushiki in an SCA Extreme Rules match. That is our main event tonight. Wow. This arena might fall off tonight, especially what happened at the last uh, Rebellion. Yeah. Ish is about to go down. That'll be interesting. I don't know. Can Ryo be able to avenge what happened to Sakura, Masaki, and Mo? What happened to them last week? We'll find out about that. We'll see in our main event. But our next opening contest, our next match about so Tina Armstrong is being accompanied by me, my love, taking on against that woman right there, Kashi As everybody wants to know, Kashi was once a part of the Dark Sakura Army, the Darkness. But ever since that, she has been doing well for herself, trying to get herself back into the game. Maybe a victory against Tina here tonight will be that path to recovery for her in her career. Find out. Tina's no slouch, I'll tell you that. See Tina's with Milo, I mean Milo and Tina here. As they had a discussion earlier tonight. Tina telling Milo not to believe in anything Melissa Forster said. Melissa Forster trying to make MMA a dominant force and try to get Milo to be recruited alongside her for battle for as well, similar to the Club wrestling uh, manifesto. Milo hasn't really been uh, swayed one way or another. We'll find out how this plays out here for that. Hopefully, Katina can keep Milo on the right path and not on the wrong side of things with Melissa. Bell rings, and here we go, our second match of tonight here at Rebellion, episode 25. Tina Armstrong, for one-on-one -on -one against Kaisuri. Here we go, some chain wrestling from both ladies here. Tina breaks away from that hole. Tina now looking at Kaisuri with the front headlock there, no. Side headlock. This now. Miles on the apron here. Elbow with the face. And Tina takes her down. See this now. Tina snaps suplex into the ring here. Miles on the apron here. A little more of a distraction for Kaiserin, if anything. Lost the drop kick there. Kaiserin. Look at this. First fixed pin here. Cover. Whoa. Not even a one count there. She's going to take a lot more to take down Tina here. Oh my goodness! Snapped the arm down right on the mat here. Look at this, guys. Look at this. Oh my goodness! Snapped back that arm. That was very great. That was a good counter there for Tina. And now look at this. Kastrin's going right after that arm. Great strategy there. Keep Tina guessing here. And another crucifix pin cover. And no pin there once again. But I will say, though, the more Tina has to be able to kick out of these counters, the more it's going to do more, it's going to exert more energy for Tina to get out of it. And Tina, with a nice counter with that with an arm breaker. Tina now coming back with some kicks here. Tina now. Oh my goodness, nice suplex there taking down Kaiserin. Milo watching here, watching very, very closely here. I what Tina's capable of. Tina now from behind here. This another back suplex. Suplex for days. 
Everybody wants to be the mayor of Suplex City these days. I don't know why. Oh my goodness! That's the neck breaker there by Tina. Still focusing on Kaiser in here. Irish is in the corner. Oh, a double knee strike. Takes her down. Oh, and an eye rig by Kaiser in there. Oh, and Cl oh, man, clips the knee. Almost hyperextended. Tina's knee there once again. Going right after the knee. Like a shark smelling blood in the water. Kaiser now attacking Tina. Body part by body part. And Moonsault from the corner to the other side. Great high air there from Kaiser. Stomp to the midsection there. Look at this. Kaiser going out the leg here. Tina trying to get back on her foot here. No pun intended. Look at this nice nightmare. Oh, look at this. Chin lock from behind. Kaiser in the middle of the ring here. Oh, and a big headbutt from behind there. This is not looking good for Tina so far. Kasper seems to have the uh, early advantage, keeping the pace, setting her own tone to this match here. It's really Tina that has to fight back here. And Tina with an L headbutt of her own. Look at this now. Tina now. Look at that. Camel clutch her onto Kasper. And both ladies trading some missions towards each other. The crowd. The static of what they're seeing here. Do you believe that revelation? Do you believe that revelation 5? Lighting versus Sergeant Clemens in a free fall held in a cell match. Three years in the making, folks. I, I personally cannot wait for that match. Just a cover. One. Cover up. Irish whip there. Over to the back. Tina! Tosses Kaiser into the corner there to the turnbuckle post. Kaiser pushes back here. Oh, and once again clips the knee. One way to get back in this match. Oh, and another snapmare on that arm. And it's just going to completely snap back that arm. Oh, my goodness. Kaiser being very methodical against Tina here. And it's working so far to her advantage. And what's this now? And oh, my goodness. We have a modified brain buster. Oh, look at that overdrive. Take down by Kasterin. Look at that Kasterin. Feeling pretty confident that she has this match in the back here. And a moose out. No, Tina that time scouted it. Tina's going to smash the knee onto the mat here. Tina up top here. Tina. The top of the turnbuckle. Moose out. Got it. Cover. One. Two. And Kasterin kicks out at two. The Irish flip. Kaiser has Tina up top here. Milo watching on. Hoping that Tina can get back the momentum here. Kaiser up top. Once again, the most overused move in all wrestling. No superplex! Here's the cover. One, two, over up. You're going to have to do a drinking game one day, one of these days. You're going to have to. Here's the Irish trip on to Tina. Kaiser in. Oh boy, this is not going to look good. Send it to the turn of the post. Kaiserin just working over Tina. It's like Tina is trying so hard to fight back in this match with Kaiserin is just finding simple ways, just little simple ways to bring Tina back down to reality. And again, clips the knee from the front. Tina, Tina's got to find a way to come back in this match. She has to. Or else it's only a matter of time here. Tina now, look at this. Has Kaiserin up top. Queen suplex bridge. One, two. Three and it's over, Tina got the win! Oh my goodness! Some men that some may call that a desperation move. Others will probably call it right place at the right time, but nonetheless, Tina with the three suplex bridge gets the three count. And it was looking pretty bad for Tina in the snapshot and she had to pull that off. Look at that cover there. Well she wrote the nice bridge there, nice four there. Kaiser is still trying to find herself in the game. There's another loss here against her, but Tina Armstrong victorious here tonight on Rebellion 25, and Myla celebrating with her. Hopefully, Tina Armstrong can be the person to keep Myla on track, to keep Myla on the right path, and don't let Melissa Forster's lies of the MMA manifesto get to her head. One can only hope. It seems like Tina's doing a great job of that so far. 
Congratulations here tonight, though. Go to Tina Armstrong. Wait a minute, I'm hearing something backstage. Something going on backstage. I'm guessing. Backstage communication. Hello. Wait a minute! That's Rowdy Rako! That's Rowdy Rako Hinamoto! Knocked out about backstage here! What is this? And wait a minute! And we're, we're here on the number backstage section in. And, 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 and I'm sure this is what Lightning meant. I knew it. I knew there was something going on with Lightning with that whole thing. I knew Lightning had something up her sleeve. Because Sergeant Clemens is being assaulted. He's being assaulted by Lennon Alice Smirnoff, Lightning's cohorts here. And Clemens is trying to fight back here. But she has no Rowdy Rako. She has nobody to help her here. Linda and Alice are just taking advantage of her to make Clemens weak and softening her up. Leading to Revelation 5 in that free fall handle cell match with Lightning. This is exactly what Lightning meant. And I knew it. Oh my goodness. Towards the baggage here. This is this is not good. This is not good at all, folks. Sergeant Clements is being weakened to nothing at this point. Thanks to Lightning's cohorts here. And Clements is knocked out. And Alice and Linda just took her out. Damn that Lightning. I don't give a damn if Joseph is a mark for her. Damn her. This is not good. This, this is not good for Clemens leading to Revelations 5. And I think we're going to need help for her. My goodness. Pathetic. <laughs> oh, man. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let's get to another personal matter here tonight. It's our main event of the evening. With us here earlier tonight to start the show, Rio Kazama wanted answers. She wanted to find out. She wanted to fight Rio Mao after what Rio Mao did to Sakura, what Rio Mao did to Tamo, what Rio Mao did to the Masaki Toyota. And she is now going to be the one to take the challenge head on here tonight in the SCA Extreme Rules match against Rio Mao. I have no idea if this is a good idea, I have no idea if this is the right thing to do, but in Rio's case, in her situation, she really has no, she has no choice. She's here to defend the honor of her colleagues and her, her wrestling friends. Rio now to come out and do what she did last time on Rebellion. Now Rio's not going to take that line down. I was wondering where is Sakura, Mo, and Saki, they are tonight. Well, Sakura Hagarara has to move to a super location. I have no idea who she is. Who doesn't know who she is? But nobody knows who she is. So um, Sakura has to move to a, um, a secret location that you cannot reveal. And I don't even know where that is. Um, Saki is still knocked out. She's still trying to recover. She's almost being nearly choked to death by Rio now. And we learned that Mo suffered a concussion at the hands of Rio as well. So. Obviously, they are not here tonight. Rio's on her own here tonight. Oh boy. This is this is not good. Oh my goodness. The entire environment has changed here tonight. As we witness Demon herself. Oh my goodness. Look at her, man. Just, just look at her eyes, dude. Look at, look at him. There's no soul, obviously. There's no soul. There's no conscious within real, real mouse body. There is none whatsoever. She's like a soulless, destructive force under the orders of Junko. I hope Rio thought carefully. I hope Rio knows what she's doing here. Oh boy. There are a lot of people you don't encounter with in life. And that's one of them that you see right before you. And here we go. Those ladies on top here. What, what is, what's going on here? Those ladies thought twice. Here we go. A continuation of what happened on the start of the show here tonight.
Rio versus Rio Mao here tonight. Look at this. Oh boy. Oh boy. Hangman's DDT off the second row. Rio gonna bring the fight to Rio Mao here tonight. Oh my goodness! Spinning senton. Rio is just everywhere right now. Hurricane pin cover one, two, kick out from Rio Mao. I mean, let's be quite honest, this is not gonna be a wrestling match. This is gonna be a fight. An extreme rules match. It's gonna be a fight here. Oh, it took for a backbreaker. Rio's here to avenge your friends here tonight after what happened to them last time at Rebellion. And this Rio Mao now has a front face lock here. And oh my god! Belly to back. And this is where her, her dominance is gonna start rearing its ugly head here. Rio Mao has Rio. Sends her to the turnbuckle post. What's this? No, 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 no. Oh my god! With authority. And Rio now sits the outside and I don't like where this is going. From the top? Oh! I'm gonna cut at that, but she's still up, and Rio gonna take advantage of that missed opportunity by Rio now. And now Rio. Look at this. Scoo slam onto the steel steps! Man, her legs hit him right on the steel steps there. Now Rio's got the steel steps herself. Oh my god, and she still got up. She goes back down. Throws it on top of her. Crowd chanting for Rio here tonight. Got her solidly right behind her back here tonight. And oh, oh my god! Billy to Billy! Oh no, not again! Oh my god on the steel steps! Oh my god, she she doesn't even want to win. She doesn't want to win this match. She wants to destroy her. She wants to dismantle her. She wants to destruct her. This is this is this is uncomfortable. I'm not I'm not even gonna lie, this is Reared its head towards uncomfortable line, lane. The crowd's starting to feel that as well here. Oh my god. I mean, Rio had to know what she was getting herself into with this match tonight, but... was I, I, And I know she's doing it for her friends here. Oh man, bitch slap to the F degree. And I know she's doing this for her reasons, and they're, and they're very justified, but... At what cost? At what cost she will to put to make this go away? Is she willing to? Oh, double on DDT there by Rio. But at what cost she's putting her her body, her her career, her life, possibly on the line here? There's a chair shot. There's another one. And Rio's going to town on Rio out here. Crowd in a fever pitch here tonight. Rio Mao is dazed here. Oh no, probably not. Now there's this Rio Mao house. Rio Mao. Oh, on the chair! On the chair! This, 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 she's not even human. She she can't be human. Rio Mao top here. Spinning heel kick. Missed. Rio gonna look to end her here. Look at this. Oh my goodness! Here's the cover! One! Two! Hold her up! Is it SCH from Rio's match? Pinfall to submissions kick out anywhere! Roundhouse kick to the side of Rio's head! And now Steel Steps come to play once again! Oh and down goes Rio! Look at this! Looks like she has Rio on a leg lock here! Let's go, but the damage has been done. Overhead lariat there by Rio Mao. It's like Rio starting to lose confidence in her own to be able to defeat this giant. And there is a guitar here. Oh, El Cabong! Suck it, Jarrett. Suck it! And now what she's gonna... Oh my god. Oh my god. And the table has been brought into play here. And the referee goes down. Rioma doesn't give a damn. Oh my god! Look at that! Rioma being billy to billy onto the referee table! This is a psychopath! 
one, two. Yeah, it's over. It was over. It was over seconds ago. You know, Matt just put Rio through a table of ugly precision there. Yo, Mal, look at that, on the chair, just slammed her on the chair here. And credit goes to Rio, she tried. She tried her best to fight this monster. She gave everything that she could. And, and, and she thought she could just put her away just like that, but she's not human. But she did more, and after that table, I better built the table, that was it. It was sick. I have no idea what else this monster has in store for everybody in SCA. But it can't be anything good. You can see Rio limping. Barely able to just get herself up here. This monster has to be stopped. I don't see any other choice. Real Real now victorious as her reign of terror continues here here at SCA. Pathetic. This is sickening. Junko now coming in here. Folks, I'm Hakeem Johnson. I'll see you when I see you. It's ridiculous.